Tonight, the search continues for the driver of this red truck seen right there who barreled into a bus bench on Michigan Avenue during a Mexican Independence Day celebration hitting a woman. Our CBS 2's Marissa Parra was actually there when it happened, caught the entire crash on camera. Marissa joins us now live. Marissa. We were standing right around here when we saw people were standing on top of cars celebrating. Horns were honking. That red pickup truck was in this direction. It hopped that curb before making its way over here, slamming into this bus station in this bus shelter right here with a woman inside of it. That sound you hear is what all of us who were there heard moments before this red pickup truck drove straight into 61 year old Dorothy Sterling. We won't show you the impact, but we will show you the moment the driver backs up and stalls for a few moments before speeding away, leaving Sterling bleeding in the bus shelter where she was sitting. He definitely knew because uh, once once he hit her, he reversed and you, you didn't see him again. He took off and he knew he was uh, he was going to be in trouble. The red pickup truck was among the cars revving their engines in the Mexican Independence Day parade. The little village parade itself was canceled due to COVID, but that didn't stop the party on the loop streets over the last few days. As midnight approached, the sound of fireworks and honking horns echoed throughout the city. Several cars were spinning their tires, causing a smoky haze on Michigan Avenue when the driver of the truck began to drive erratically. He was driving on the sidewalks. He was driving backwards down the wrong way. That's when all the beer bottles fell out of the back of the truck too and shattered on the ground. As the driver moved towards Sterling, sitting alone in the bus shelter, she put her hands out as if to try to stop him, but she wasn't alone for long. People were trying to keep her conscious because she looked like she was starting to maybe doze off and considering the amount of blood that we saw on the ground. Among those that rushed to her side were two women who had been in the parade. They took the Mexican flag off their shoulders to use it as a tourniquet to stop the bleeding. That could have been us, that could have been anybody, you know. A source tells us that some Chicago police officers have had their time off that was scheduled tonight canceled due to what happened last night. Now, do, now uh, as for that victim, Dorothy Sterling, she was taken to Northwestern Hospital. We're told she is expected to potentially lose her leg, but she is expected to survive. We're live from the South Loop. I'm Marissa Parra with CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you.